16, I would say no. It, it's definitely not too childish. Um, my next question is from Jason. Uh, what advice would you give to someone looking to improve their promo skills? Um, my advice to you is to just practice, 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 practice. Stand in front of a mirror and just keep practicing. Uh, the way that I look at promos is to basically just like have, uh, you know, just basically just give a reason of why you're giving the promo. Uh, besides the fact that, you know, whatever it's for, you know, kind of tie into like uh, some kind of message and then just put over something that'll that'll get that'll be included in your promo skills. Like just recently, I just watched a promo that uh, Danny Inferno did when he was trying out for Ring of Honor, and I thought it was an awesome promo where he put over his hand and how most people use weapons, um, like you know, use baseball bats and other objects as weapons, but he uses his fist. I thought that was an awesome promo. Um, so just something like that, integrate something else into your promo, um, but just practice. Keep keep practicing. Uh, my next question is from Tina, and I'm going to read this uh, word for word. It's it's, it's rather a long uh, question. It says, I want to know why WD, I'm guessing that would be would, uh, you badmouth one of your fellow wrestlers when he busts his ass to get shows going, and you get pissy for not getting credit when you did nada, and say bad stuff for him not to be able to get promoting for EPWE shows. Bad sports menship right there. You should be very ashamed of yourself. If you can't hang with the big dogs, get off the porch. You should hang your head in shame or make it right, and everyone you bad mouthed him to make calls and take it back. Don't bridges you might someday have to cross again, so I guess you have phone calls to make. Um, and then later, I saw that you put, oops, uh, don't burn bridges you might have to cross again, realizing that out of that entire thing that you misdid, you realize you didn't put burn. <laughs> burn. Um, Tina, uh, I apologize that you're so disgruntled at the fact of uh, what is going on uh, behind the scenes of the EPWE events. And I apologize that you don't know the, the entire truth about what's going on. Um, and I'm not at liberty to, to get into something like that. I think that's, you know, not... Uh, no offense, but any of your business. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that is going on that you just don't know about. Um, and I didn't badmouth anybody uh, with phone calls that I've made. Um, but like I said, it's 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 really none of none of your business. Uh, and if anything, you, I mean, you're telling me that I have phone calls to make. But if anything, I believe that you should be making a phone call to Rosetta. Uh, Rosetta Stone so that you would be able to learn some English because this was this was absolutely terrible. I mean, you, you actually misspelled a lot of words. Mouthed, you put mouthed. Sportsmanship, you spelled it with an E. Um, it was just, it's just absolutely terrible. So uh, I apologize that you, you, you're, you're not well aware of the, uh, the English language. So I hope, I hope the best for you. Um, my next question is from Bill Daly. Uh, why do you walk around the locker room with your nutsack hanging out all the time. It's rather disturbing. Um, Hawaiians don't like clothes. Just going to throw that out there. Hawaiians don't like clothes. Hence why you always see everybody with a t-shirt off or barely, uh, excuse me, barely wearing anything. Um, and it's just a good laugh. It's a good laugh. Uh, my next question is from Tommy. Uh, where do you train? Uh, Currently, I, I haven't been uh, in the ring as much as I would like to be, um, but I'm going to be uh, starting to just work out at the, uh, the Wild Samoan since they are the closest to my home. Um, and, uh, possi uh, and I'm going to start getting down to the uh, CZW school uh, more often. Uh, I just got to uh, move my schedules around to make more time for those things. Uh, my next question is from Dylan. Who is your number one fan? And I can't answer that uh, because I have... Uh, a lot of people that uh, say that they're my number one fan and they're from, you know, different states. Um, you know, obviously you're one of my biggest fans. Um, I have uh, big fans in uh, New Jersey, uh, Delaware. Um, you know, so there's a, a lot of people that claim to be my number one fan and I don't know who is my number one fan. Maybe I should have a contest and, and give them a prize. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Um, my next question is from Jose. Uh, which company would you like to work for, WWE or TNA? And plain symbol, WWE. 
Uh, last two questions. One is from Raven. Who is your favorite music artist? And that is Seether. Seether, 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 Seether. Love Seether. Check him out. And my last question wasn't asked this week, but I know that I forgot her question last week, and it's Veronica. What was the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? And I don't know if it's just, like, in general or just, like, in, in wrestling. Um, probably the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in wrestling is um, I, I kept sneezing during a match, and I thought that was embarrassing. I don't know why, but, like, I was on the ground and all of a sudden, I just started sneezing, like, in the middle of a match. I just thought it was, I just thought it was hilarious <laughs> and embarrassing. Um, outside of the wrestling world, I'm not exactly sure what was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Um, I, I, I really can't think of anything. I, I don't think, of, I can't think of anything that, oh, you know what was embarrassing? Uh, my hairstyle when I was a kid, um, because, um, when I was a little kid, my mom used to always do my hair, like, when I was really little. And then as I got older, I didn't realize that I could do other things with my hair and change it however I want. So I just kept wearing the same, like, comb over, like, little kid preppy haircut. And when I got older and I started, and I was out of elementary school, and then I went to basketball practice and had my hair like that. And they're like, what the hell's wrong with your hair? I was so embarrassed. Uh, kids made fun of me all the time. Kids made fun of me my entire life. Uh, so um, that's probably the most embarrassing thing, just my hairstyle when I was when I was younger, um, and to go back to the question of whose ass needs to be kicked, um, I still haven't thought of one, and I'm gonna sit here for another 10 seconds, and then finally give an answer, uh, I'm gonna go with, Jesus, Lord, I don't know, who need, who just needs to shut up, someone just needs to shut up, I don't know, I, I really don't know, I'm gonna go with, ah, I, the cast of Jersey Shore, that's who I'm going to go with, plain and simple, the cast of Jersey Shore. All right, guys, thank you very much for um, uh, getting involved in my uh, Q&A this week. Uh, like I said, I apologize for getting it up late. Um, make sure that you guys uh, keep following me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter account is at KeikoaFH. Um, also, just got the email confirmation that the brand new tribal t-shirts and the tribal hoodies are on their way. Um, if you are looking to get a hoodie or a t uh, especially a hoodie, they're almost sold out already, uh, on pre-orders. Um, so if you want a hoodie, please, uh, put your order in now, uh, contact me on Facebook or Twitter to find out how, um, and the t-shirts, no one's pre-ordered any t-shirts yet. So, uh, you guys are fine there. And plus there's a lot more of those, uh, there's a lot more t-shirts ordered than, than there was hoodies. Um, Anything else? Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, if you want to put in your pre-order, I am accepting major credit cards now due to a company called Pay Anywhere uh, Global Payments. So I can uh, take credit, debit, whatever, major credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, American Ex 